Now it's time to check if the voltage doubler really doubles the voltage or not. So I have a car battery here. First, let's check how much voltage this battery has. Almost 13 volts. Okay. So now, let's attach the voltage doubler. One goes here. One goes here. And here I will attach this thing. I can measure the... Um, this is just to test if uh, the battery has uh, uh, electricity. You can see this thing will light up when I attach the battery. So yes, the battery has energy. I will load the capacitors through that. So now look at this voltage. First that way. So I have just loaded the first capacitor. We have 13, 13 volts. And the generator will later generate uh, alternating current. So we reverse the polarity. And look now what happens. The voltage goes up to 25.5 volts. So yes, one can say that we have reached, we have doubled the, vo the voltage. So yes, it's working. The energy is stored in these two capacitors and the energy comes in this case from the car battery, but it only runs as long as the um, capacitors need to be loaded. When they are full, the energy is uh, no more drained from, from the uh, battery. So you can see this because the light will go off. When I attach this tester here and I discharge the capacitors, you can see that the light will flash up and then it will go down. And look at this. So now it's off. The first capacitor lost is his um, voltage, therefore the voltage here dropped. And now I will discharge the, the other capacitor so it light up for a short while and the second capacitor lost his voltage so um, the voltage here is <coughs> back to zero. So let's load it once again. Just look at this light here. I hope you can see that. Maybe not on the video. Okay, let's start it that way. We first charge one capacitor and the uh, bulb, light bulb here will flash up for a short while. Done. And why am I not reading any voltage? Ah, because this is not attached correctly. So here you see 12.9 volts. I reverse the polarity and now we are charging the other capacitor. The light bulb will flash uh, up for a short while. Now the capacitor, the second capacitor is full too and we reach the full voltage. And no more energy is drained from the battery. So now I want to demonstrate to you that this works with a windmill. I don't have access to my big windmill now. I will show you this with a small windmill um, with with this Wii that has a built-in dynamo inside. So here are the cables attached. So in, when, I, uh, when I spin this, then the voltage raises, raises up and up and up. And you can see we have 14.5 volt, 16 cell. 
16 volt, 17 volt. We may even, even go up to 20, let's see. 20 volt, 21 volt, yes. So you see, this thing is working. And uh, the voltage is stored because the diodes uh, do not allow the the um, capacitors to discharge so the voltage stays even w when I don't spin it until I discharge it yeah so that's all for today <laughs>